what's up babes welcome back it's barb city where it's always mother and liddy let's go on ahead and get into 77 cents you guys i feel like this woman is always hopping on someone's bandwagon inserting herself where she does not belong okay anyways asian doll was having like some kind of thing going on with on twitter it had absolutely nothing to do with lotto but like i said lotto decided to hop on her bandwagon and try to throw a little bit of shade with no at on it okay so as you can see here in this post i crossed all the irrelevant stuff out and right there at the bottom, it says trying to rap at 30 is crazy, right? Well, what stood out to me is the is crazy because later on, like shortly after that, Lotto made this tweet that says is crazy. So I'm like, was she trying to shade a artist that's 30 or over or was this a coincidence, you know, that had nothing to do with what Asian Doll had going on? Or was she just simply agreeing with Asian Doll, okay? Obviously, in my opinion, I feel like Lotto was definitely throwing some shade. You guys know how this woman is, but just let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think this was a coincidence? All right, now, what I am going to say before we move forward is that in just in case she was throwing some shade at Nicki Minaj, we're just going to say this, honey. Nicki Minaj is never trying to rap, all right? Nicki Minaj is rapping, okay? <laughs> okay <let's talk. laughs> like, you really thought you had it. You really did. Okay, 77 cents. You did not eat, boo. Not at all. Oh, you thought you ate that. Okay, so let's go on ahead and move forward into Bot CB. So Bot CB yet again decided to talk about her album. Yes, the album that she has literally been promising her fans once a year for the past six years okay you guys know i have provided proof of this several times bot cb has been lying about this um so-called album for the past six years she actually told um her fans one time that she wrote 60 songs in six years and she was not happy with any of them None of them were worthy of being dropped, right? Well, then she also said just recently, there is no album, cry about it. That's literally what she just said to one of her fans. Well, as we know, Nicki Minaj just announced her album not too long ago. And she also just announced the pre-save of her new song that will be released called the last time or last time that i saw you okay so with that being said obviously people are pointing out the fact that now since Nicki minaj is talking about her album cardi b wants to go on ahead and jump on that bandwagon and either release an album or pretend like she's going to be releasing one i'm not really sure her fans are gonna have to figure that out but this is what's being reported. Buzzing Pop said, Cardi B gives an update on her second studio album, Cardi B 2. Now I'm working on the cover and ideas for the next album because it's definitely coming. Everyone always tells me that I should release the album now. They did it when I launched WAP and when I launched UP but I always let them know that I'm not going to wait long to release it after all these singles. Stay tuned because it's going to come out very soon. Now, my thing is this with Botsy B, okay? For her to sit here and play in her fans' faces, saying that she's working on the cover art for her album is absolutely crazy when you just said 
there was no album. Like, why do you guys continue to lie to y'all's fans? A lot. Like, look at how quick she lied. Okay, it's making no sense. But here were some of the comments. Realize how once Nikki announced the lead, Cardi starts talking about her album. Took her six years to make a second album. LMFAO. Girl, nobody cares about you anymore. And one more person saying, Nikki dropped a pre-save and she starts talking about her album. Now she wants to too. Oh, Cloney B. Okay, so people are definitely pointing out the trash in it all. Embarrassing. Now, another thing that Boxy B brought up is that she feels like she, her, like she's being judged more than other female artists. It says, Cardi B via Vogue. There are a lot of female rappers out there who aren't judged as much as I am. I don't have room to fail. I can't lose. Well, you guys, let me explain to you guys why this is happening. Bot CB is an industry plant that was put here to replace someone that has been in the game over 16 years, okay? The payola is no longer behind her, so people are now starting to see that she is not the celebrity the A-list celebrity that everybody thought that she was, okay? That's why Boxy B feels that she's being judged more than others because you compared yourself to the queen of rap, okay? So every time you release, people are going to expect what you're releasing to be like on the queen of rap's level. And you haven't been able to do that. That's why you feel like that. But here was one comment, LMFAO, but she sits and judges females. This clown is just a hypocrite about literally every step she makes. We don't care if you fail or not, but after you said your hits lived in the top 10, she has yet to see the top 10 since then. Excuse me, y'all. Since that verse, that's her fan base's impact. So boo, that's your fan base, not ours. Like you need to go have that talk with them because the Barb's, we're winning. And that's on period. That what? Yeah. what happened? No what was smoke. that? What was that? Okay, the sympathy and the payola is played out and it's boring. Let it go. Okay, nobody's checking for your music. If I hear it anywhere in my facility, it goes off immediately. Okay? I'll cut that bullshit off. <laughs> Who wrote that? Let's get some writers back to the drum board. Right up. But anyways, let's go on ahead and get into the razzle dazzle of the video, which is going to be the queen, obviously. I just want to read a few of her stats. I'm not going to do too much. Just give you guys a quick update on three things, okay? And we're going to get up out of here. I promise y'all. I'm not going to do too much. Like I said, I know, I, I know, I know. I love Nicki Minaj and I could go on all day, but I'm not going to do that to y'all today. I promise. So as y'all can see here, Taylor Swift, 212, and Nicki Minaj, 132, are now the only female artists with 100 or more billboard hot 100 entries in their career so congratulations to the queen and taylor swift Nicki minaj posted this to her instagram story it says dear barbs today we make history history books will say that the harajuku barbie was the first female celebrity made into a character on call of duty i am so honored so happy it was such a pleasure working with the call of duty team let's show the f out so if you guys have not already spread the word Nicki minaj has made history yet again and just one more stat if you have not already pre-saved Nicki minaj's new single coming out it is called Last Time I Saw You, and you can pre-save now. The link will be posted on my Twitter, 
my Barb City Facebook page, my Instagram, as well as my YouTube community tab, okay? And with all of that being said, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thanks.